Five Nights at Freddy's security breach was a mess when it was first released. There were bugs everywhere, and it was so hard to play the game without wondering if you had broken it. Eight months later, and there have been a couple of patches and bug fixes, but to be honest, it is still a mess. In fact, you can now beat the game without obtaining any items, which if you'd like to see, you can watch right up here. But just to show how broken the game still is, here are a couple of ways to get out of bounds or to completely unload the entire map. Enjoy. Alrighty, so I was originally gonna do this scripted, but I decided I don't want to now. So now we're doing it live, baby. Let's go. So yeah, uh, hola, Stetis. Today I'm gonna be showing you some gl some glitches, some out of bounds, ways to get out of bounds in Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach, the most non-breakable game of all time. <laughs> so I'm sure everyone knows about ball strats at this point. If you haven't, you know, check out how I beat Security Breach itemless. But basically. Using these balls in Freddy's room, it is possible to to get out of his room. The only thing is you have to make sure that you do have the debug menu enabled, but once you have that enabled, you should be able to do a little bit of this, or at least you'll notice the balls go crazy. I don't know, it's very hard to get through this wall, I promise. Jay, put a clip of that. There we go, okay. Oh, wow, look, we definitely were able to get out. Definitely, it didn't just, that wasn't a clip from my speedrun or anything. All right, but yeah, once you're able to get out of here, you know, you're out of bounds. Congratulations, you've already done it. You've already done the whole video, you can leave now. Nah, I'm just kidding. Um, but you can actually run into places. You can run in here, you can exit through Roxy Raceway. It is a way to completely get out of Freddy's room early. Here's my ball, by the way. <laughs> And, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. There isn't really anywhere you can really go. You can just jump into the void, which is, you know, always fun. You can kind of walk around. I don't know what to tell you, man. There's there's not a whole lot going on with this one, to be honest. You just fall into the void. And that's that's your game for you. Congratulations. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh, dude. I froze the game again. Gotta open up task manager for this thing. Oh my gosh, what a mess this game is. Okay, well, because of everything that happened, I think we're just gonna, we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on. You can just, just watch my speed run if you really want to see it in action. <laughs> it's, it's a lot harder than it looks. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't want to do it. So the next one can be done. Oh, where am I? After you collect the photo pass and, you know, get Freddy out. But so basically you get inside Freddy, we're gonna walk all the way down. But this next glitch is pretty cool, I guess. It's the next like actual way to get out of bounds without any sort of external little plugins or anything like that. So I'll show you this in just a minute after we get down to this forever long staircase. It takes forever. I hate doing the speedrun because of the staircase. Alrighty, we are here. So after Freddy takes us and tells us we need to go to the emergency room, instead, instead of going into the first aid station, we're gonna, we're gonna turn right. You see, there's a staircase. This was here, um, before, but it was covered up by a fence. Now, there's no fence. Uh, they moved the fence up here, but if we just simply jump on the staircase, jump on the staircase and jump, we could, you could already see, we could jump on this wall, then we can jump out. This is currently used in the Vanny ending. Well, using this, we can uh, go around and completely pass Freddy. Hey, Freddy Fazbear. Oh, there's an invisible wall here. What the heck? Oh my gosh, I didn't know that. But now we can either A, continue down this hallway, continue the game. There's nothing that stops you. I've tested it. Or we can go back up the stairs, which is right where our next little out of bounds out of bounds gateway is so if we once again go right through this giant staircase see there once we've made it to the top um you're not really supposed to be back here without freddy so they never intended for you to do the exact same thing trust me you can get up here there we go and then you just jump jump bam out of bounds <laughs> um yeah i don't know how any of this slid it still has slid it's been this game has been patched so many times. Let me just do a little bit of that. Some parkour. Look, we're back. Wow. And some more parkour. Some expert movement. <laughs> there you go. That's how you get out of bounds. And this is how you completely shatter the game right here. From here, we can basically get anywhere. We can uh, completely go to the atrium. You can go to Roxy Raceway. There's nothing stopping you from here. So we're just going to go to the atrium real quick because I think that's a good place to go to prove some stuff. It's like pitch black. Oh my gosh. Hello? There we go. Nice. So you could have just ran into Roxy Wasteway, but what's more fun than finding a way into Roxy Wasteway from 
the atrium. So if we come up here and jump up this little thing, it's kind of hard. Come on, baby. There we go. Let me jump up on these little ketchups and condiments. Jump over, jump on this wall and do some big leaps. We can unload the atrium. How did I not unload the atrium? You have to sprint. You have to, you have to do a little run in around here. You got to be far from the wall. So you do a little this and it unloads and we could just run pretty much wherever you want to go. You want to go faster blast? You go ahead. Uh, my computer's too fast. Hello, please. Come on. I've never had it load too fast. What is this dude? <laughs> what is this? So yeah, if we totally definitely make it all the way through, then you can make it into, oh my gosh, dude, you can make it here and Freddy's not here yet. Wow. <laughs> Trust me, you can't make it. It's I use, I've used that in um the no item speed run, so I know it's definitely a thing. But from here, here is one of my favorite glitches or ways to get out of bounds because it makes no sense how this is a thing. Two, three, four, five. If we align with the fifth one and we just back up slowly, it just unloads the map. And you can just jump out of bounds and you know it's that easy. From here, you can completely beat the game. Actually, I'll, I'll show you some more. I'll show you some more of the, the speed run while we're here. Just run this way. You know, pitch black, pretty scary. Run in here and bam, we're <laughs> in Fazer Blast. Yeah, the game, the game's weird. It's a weird game. Great game though, great game. Okay, so if we just put the Fazer Blaster back and we exit, whoa. <laughs> Oh, spooky. But um, if we go activate this little key card over here, it'll cause all the bots to show up, which is fun. And we're going to use that to actually get out of bounds, believe it or not. I know, crazy, right? Absolutely insane. Just going to go like this, and bam, here's all the staff bots. They're here. They're here for our use to get out of bounds, of course. But we're going to use this guy over here at the elevator. Don't catch me. Um, Because I don't know why. I don't know like anything about this game. I just know that things happen. If you stand right here, get caught, the game will unload and that's fun. And kind of just run this way. And I'm in the bathroom, kind of. Where am I? Well, you know, you can get out of bounds. <laughs> I'm stuck. Oh no. Oh, Gregory looking, looking mighty fine over there. <laughs> but um, if you do this, you can jump all the way down here and this is how you beat the game pretty much. Run down here. Well, you would call Freddy and then, you know, continue the game, but we're all the way back here. Phew, back here. All right, definitely didn't just fly all the way here. There's one more way to get out of bounds in this area that will take you to Roxy Raceway instead of into Fazer Blast. And it's using these balloons up here. Fancy little balloons, eh? Just jump up on here, do a little parkour, some more parkour. Don't fall off and you just run up there. Very amazing. Now, we gotta jump up these balloons, which really sucks. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a lot harder than it looks. But, oh my gosh, I'm gonna explain this while I keep trying to do this. There are certain points in, like, every room that will deload the map. It's usually up really high because, you know, you're not gonna be super high. So, if Gregory's up there, why, why keep the room loaded in, you know? He's probably in a different room. And, well, most of these spots are just put a little bit too low. Oh. No! Gosh, dude. <laughs> Then we come up here and try to go on top without jumping because it will unload. Then we can just jump here. We'll unload the whole area so you can run wherever you want. But of course, I'm going to run into Roxy Raceway because that's the most fun place to be. I might not make it. I didn't make it because <laughs> normally you'd start with a run. But, you know, you could be here now. This is fun. You can never come here in the actual game. So, you know, that's interesting, right? So, you know, if you do this correctly, oh, that's not going to work. Yeah, I didn't think so. What? You don't have collision? Oh my gosh, I got so trolled there. I mean, if you do this correctly, there we go. You can just run straight in the Roxy Raceway. Here we go. Off the rails. It's time to break our cells. It's freedom like you never knew. Out of bounds. Wherever I want to go. You just got to be careful not to get stuck, of course, like with all of these. If I stand here, I should be good. Yep, there we go. And look, Roxy Raceway so early. Roxy Raceway? Roxy Raceway. You know, that's, that's nice and dandy. You can skip a lot of stuff with that, but... How about getting onto the track? Getting on the track is something you can't do in ordinary gameplay, and you definitely, it's definitely a lot harder to do now because they added invisible walls around the whole thing. Look, look how high up these invisible walls go, and this goes around the entirety of the track. So, we need another way in, and I'm gonna show you how we get in. It involves these stairs over here. I'm just gonna jump up these boxes because, of course, there's no collision like anywhere on this staircase. 
you know, just a very good game, as you can obviously tell. Just gonna jump up here, walk up here. Very simple, very simple stuff. Up here, there's actually more stuff than just getting on the track that I wanna show you. This whole area is detailed, but you never can come up here in a in normal game. It's complete with all of these. These are completely 100% well, should be used. Well, I've used it before. There we go. Now the game thinks I have the flashlight. So you can use that. They they all work. And there's so many of them. It's weird. If it feels like you should be allowed to come up here. They have fully detailed like statues up here. It's not even low poly. Like this is actually like a regular statue. You've got fully detailed bathrooms over here. Which is, is mind blowing to me. There's full sets of bathrooms that go completely unseen. Even with textures like this. They are reflective. Honestly par probably partially part of the reason why the game is so laggy all the time there's probably a lot of these rooms just everywhere that go unused <laughs> woman's restroom exists as well you know no secrets in these sadly all complete with these guys reflective windows and an invisible wall epic i wonder if uh, it makes me think maybe there was something that was going to be done up here surely something was going to be done right why would they add an invisible wall for no reason and you got a rug another flashlight thing some of these cosmetics those are not cosmetics those are vending machines so it just makes me feel like you should have been able to come up here or at least be able to see it but at no point can you see up here so i don't really know it's really cool though like look at all this detail on stuff that you don't see what the heck <laughs> what the heck still will? why don't you see any of this stuff look at this and all of its beauty never get to see this close unless if you're a game breaker like me <laughs> okay, now to show you my favorite part, which is getting onto the actual track. Sadly, the game never came with any sort of like game mode or anything where you got to go on the track. And they definitely don't want you to go on the track because they keep um blocking you from going on it. They added invisible walls and stuff. But of course, we're we're gaming, so we can still get on here. So if we go over there, we can go all the way to where Roxy is, which is actually how we do the no item speedrun. This is the direction we go. We do some crazy parkour. Watch the video. There's Roxy there. Roxy right down there. You know, dead, even though we haven't done anything. We haven't even played the cutscene either. And also the lighting changes. I never noticed that. And you know, you can fully run around the entirety of the track if you'd like. If you'd so desire. I've done it before. I've gotten the Roxy cutscene to play, but I think you have to do that before you load in Roxy. But I'm not sure. Oh. Oh. Oh out of bounds moment we're out of bouncing today oh my gosh didn't even know you could do that let's go no <laughs> there was no hitbox there <laughs> there's no limits in this game this game is literally just have as much fun as you want we made a game for you to play but you can just completely ignore that and do whatever you want now <laughs> that's basically what this game is and what it's been this whole time and that's why i love it so guys i have one more that i want to show you this one is my absolute favorite because it's the silliest and it takes place in good old l chips well the arcade specifically and it's my favorite because simply how easily it could be avoided so you come in here you know you're all nice and dandy but we come to the arcade dang i forgot how beautiful this game looks when you're not playing in without lights don't catch me thank you Oh, gosh, what was that light that just... Sh oh, 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 thanks for getting me, buddy. All right. So, basically, you come into this hiding spot. You come on the wrong side. And for some reason, when you uh, exit, you just jump out of bounds. Simply put, Roxy wasn't even chasing me. What was that? From here, you can jump where pretty much wherever you want. I've been able to get in pretty fun spaces, such as Monty Golf. You can also get to the front of the pizza plex actually oh i have somewhere i need to show you hold on hold on hold on guys don't leave yet don't click off the video i have something very cool so if you run all the way around and you do a little bit of uh jamering i don't know when that became a term but it is now uh deal with it you can just run outside these are the doors right here just, you know well sh shoot um where am i now <laughs> okay so if you don't pull a jamer z and you don't overrun you can uh you can come outside. Very cool, right? You never get to see any of this. And you have like logos up here, stuff. I don't think you can see that. Oh, wait, you can see that. That's the come back soon sign. I'm, I'm a little stupid. You can't go very far. Sadly, I think pretty much as soon as you go in this road, there's no more collision. But it's still pretty exciting that you can at least come out here a little bit. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. That's so smart, though. It's a 2D image that just follows the, uh, the camera. How cool. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this one. 
that's all I have for you today. Uh, there are way more ways to get out of bounds, but I just have a short list that I made today. If you guys want to see another one, you know, I have a ton more ways of getting out of bounds. So just let me know. Leave a like, subscribe, all the just jazz, and I'll uh, see you guys later. Peace out. Adios. Bye. Be banished. Where am I? Why is there... T Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Yo. 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 No way. I didn't know this was over here. We're going to get jump scared by Vanny before the video ends. Hold on. Benny, this is a Ben Benny moment. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>